Hi, so in this video, we're going to be going over Azure policies using the CAF Enterprise Scale Terraform module. So in my previous videos, I deployed or we deployed um, basically all the management groups and uh, landing zones that we would be needing to um, basically stick subscriptions where they should fit uh, using the uh, cloud adoption framework. So in this uh, video, it's going to be going over basically how can you deploy policies at scale a lot easier um, using this module? Now, uh, in the previous videos, we worked in this um, particular setup as far as our um, creation of the management groups. And we turned off a lot of the defaults. So the policies, there weren't any being created. Um, we created this lib folder here. And basically this lib folder is essentially where your um, archetype definitions, policy assignments, policy definitions, policy set definitions, were, which are essentially initiatives, um, and everything will sit. So based on the documentation here, if we go, um, there's some good information that you can find on the wiki. And sometimes it can kind of get confusing. Um, you can see that there's some stuff about um, control policy enforcement modes, creating custom policy initiatives and assignments, and all of the sort. So as you can see, they have a parameter. Um, let me pull up the code again here. So it's basically defined off of this path here called library path. And the path is the path.module for slash lib. And that's basically where it's being called from. And so you can find these, the default ones, under the dot terraform, modules, ALZ, modules, and then archetypes, and then this lib folder. And what I basically did was I copied all of this and I just removed the default. So as you can see, you have what are called um, archetype definitions, and this basically defines what policies and uh, where they'll be set at um, at the management group level. So you'll, you'll be basically needing these folders here. Now the folders don't have to be this name, but I just wanted to keep them consistent. So the policy assignments are essentially, um, as you can see, all of the assignments that would be um, assigned to the, the management group scopes. The definitions are essentially what's being applied. So you got this policy enables you to ensure when a key vault is created without soft delete enable, it will be added. So as you can see, you have the parameters and then the policy rule. Uh, we got some other ones like denying RDP from the internet. So you got some, you know, parameters, uh, policy rules, and things of that sort. So then going down, we also have the policy set definitions. Now policy set definition is essentially an initiative that uh, uh, has multiple policy definitions um, a part of it. So let's pretend like our initiative is to improve network security. So we have a policy initiative that's called enforce security on VNets or something like that. So in that um, policy um, set definition, we'll have maybe deny VNet peering or uh, deny RDP from the internet and you know some other stuff there. So it's just a way to kind of group multiple definitions within a, a set. So what we'll do here is, so basically what I do have is a custom archetype definition and I'm basically setting, so I have this custom landing zones. And if we look back in my Azure portal here, here's how my management groups are set up from the deployment. I got, let me take you as the uh, management group. And then we have our landing zones and then the custom ones that I created, as you can see from this custom landing zones parameter, which also gets defined here as well. So where it says custom landing zones equals local dot custom landing zones. And then I also have this platform, which creates a connectivity uh, a landing zone, 
but I also just went ahead and added a separate management group under that. So in case, you know, you wanted to have separate connectivity subscriptions under this main one here. And so what we need to do is take the, let me go back into the archetype definition. So how I have this set is the archetype config and the archetype ID that it's going to be using is called default underscore empty. And if we look under our archetype definitions, I have this file called archetype definition underscore default underscore empty dot JSON. And as we can see, the name is default empty. And we essentially have no policy assignments, which would be the policy assignments here. We have no policy definitions and no policy set definitions. And uh, just kind of looking at the main, the, def the assignments, we're going to uh, set the, we're going to put that inside our root um, archetype definition. So that means when we assign it here, um, or when we create the uh, definition here, it would then be assignable at the, um, you know, lower level uh, groups. So let's say, for example, we want to take the default, and these are just defaults. You can create your own policy assignments. You can create your own policy definitions. Um, these are just some good ones to start with for uh, Microsoft's best practice recommendations. So let's say we take the one that says, deny subnets without a NSG. So we can see that the name is deny subnet without NSG. So what we want to do is we want to take this name and actually this is the policy definition. We want the, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Policy definition. So what we'll do is we'll go into this root template and we'll put it here. Double quotes. So each one that you want, if you got a new one, you just do a new line and you add another one, just like that. So once that gets created um, or added there, this policy definition now is able to be utilized um, in your other archetype um, management groups. So it gets created here at the at the root management group level and inside our Azure policy. That's going to show up as a definition. And once this loads, it'll show here uh, another. So it'll show definition location and it will be at the uh, let me tech you location. And then we can assign it where we want down there. So you can have ones that actually are assigned um, at the root level that apply to everything. And then you can have ones that are created at the root level and then apply to just specific management groups. So now we're going to also place this on our archetype default empty and the assignment is going to be oops. all right. So we, we, we built the definition. So first thing is you always got to build the definition. Let's go back to the other page. So definition gets built. So let's take this one for example. And then inside this definition, you need to assign it. And that's what we'll be doing here. So now that we got that assigned, now how this actually knows where to deploy it to, if we look at our settings.core again, again, the archetype ID is going to be default underscore empty. So unless you wanted like another archetype ID to, um, you know, manage that particular uh, um, deployment, then you'll change that there. So this ES Corp one would be under the ES Corp and that's the name. So it's not based off of the file name. Again, it just needs to be in that .json format. Uh, it's just consistency wise. So now you can find it a lot easier. The ES Corp is what's being used. So now if I do a Terraform plan,
and let that run. It's gonna it's gonna show the creation. Um, and th these destroys are just some sleep uh, default ones that are kind of built with this module. So I had to look into seeing what more of what that is here. So basically, five things being added, as you can see up here. The different um, assignments being created and de definitions and them being applied. So we're going to do a Terraform apply, and then I'm just going to do an auto approve. It's my test environment, so just to speed things up. So let's go ahead and let that deploy. Um, might take a little second there, but uh, once that gets deployed there, we'll be able to see where it's been applied to. Okay, so got that finally deployed there. Um, took a little bit of time. So now if we go back into the um, portal here, let's bring this back over here. We can see that, go back and might have to do a refresh. Sometimes it could take a little bit of time to come up. Let's refresh the portal page here. Oh, came in as soon as I refreshed it. So, so we added this to the, go back to our settings.core, the default empty archetype ID. As you can see that this connectivity US archetype, archetype ID, I had purposely left it on ES core. So being that this is showing de not deny subnets without an SG, we should be able to see that, okay, it's um, the definitions here. And for the assignment, we should see the, we go under, well, it's actually probably need to go under the, oh, so landing zones. There we go. So we deployed it at the actual uh, lower level management group. So let me take you deployment. And then if we look at the production, that it's also there. And then if we click on the connectivity, it's not there. So now if we wanted this to actually be deployed to anything underneath the LMTY group, we could have essentially, uh, went in under the root, also put this policy assign or definition under policy assignments. So it would have made it something there. So uh, something you would probably want to do maybe at like the root level would be like things like tagging policies or stuff that would be wide scale, the same across all the uh, management groups, but kind of want to keep it scaled down to the particular management groups. That way you can easily or more easy to easily define or uh, troubleshoot anything that you may need to kind of pull in and out of things so that you're not doing it at a wide scale. So um, that's basically it. So as far as like the policy assignments, uh, if you ever need to create your own, um, these are kind of good templates to start with. Uh, you can kind of get an idea on like the type, the API versions they're using, what kind of name, and stuff like that. So you can easily, you know, kind of see like how some of these are set up. They can get kind of confusing when they start to get into some of these like ones that have, or actually the policy definitions, let's look at those. So the parameters, um, just making sure you're getting the right fields in. Um, they do have some tools out there to help make sure you're getting the right parameters. You can also grab this same information um, from the Azure portal. So if you actually go into the particular, oh, that's the assignment, let's go to the definition. So if you go to the definition, it should have a uh, down here, you can see same information um, that you would have. And then the parameters, you know, parameters that you're gonna supply and things like that. So um, it's also good to create uh, custom ones versus uh, going or editing the built-in ones in case you ever need to re revert back to one of those. So that's it as far as like the policy definitions and assignments. Um, it's It can get a lot more deeper in terms of like things you need to set up, but that's it in a nutshell. Um, 
I would kind of go through and maybe test out some differences in terms of like how you're uh, scoping it out in your, um, you know, uh, custom landing zone architecture. If you have any questions in regards to the setup or um, how to define some of the things, let me know. Um, as in myself, I'm still learning a lot of the uh, CAF Enterprise Scale Terraform module settings. So as you have questions, um, they can help me kind of look and define anything that, you know, I might miss and, and need to like kind of look through myself. So again, if you, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any other recommendations as far as like things you would like me to look at in, in regards to this module, drop me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.